Today's lecture would be about mass inflow curve. Mass inflow curve is simply a plot between time that is usually taken in years and on y axis we have accumulated or you can say cumulative inflow and that is mostly in hectare meters. Mass inflow curve is simply plot between accumulated inflow and time. So it's always uh, an rising curve, for example, would be somehow like this. For example, I'm plotting this mass inflow curve for years, for example, it is 1960, 1961, 1962, 1963, and 1964. <coughs> so, this mass curve would be always a rising curve. Ye kabhi fall aapka jo, uh, iska jo slope hai, ye kabhi fall nahi hoga. It can be a horizontal line. Wahan pe aapke depressions ho sakte hai. But it can never fall down. So, iske baad agar hum dekhenge ki ye mass inflow curve, हम कैसे प्लॉट करते हैं? We can plot this mass inflow curve with the help of inflow hydrograph. Firstly, if we want to plot a mass inflow curve, we should be having the uh, data of discharge with respect to time, so that we can plot the inflow hydrograph. And with the help of that very inflow hydrograph, we can plot the mass inflow curve. So uh, let's start. Plotting an inflow hydrograph. For example, time is in years. As we know, hydrograph is a plot between discharge and time. So on y-axis, it's discharge, and it's usually in meter cube per second, or we can say in cubits. For example, this is our hydrograph for years 1960, 1961, 1962. 1963 and 1964. So, for example, the hydrograph is somehow like this. Okay. So, we can plot a mass inflow curve with the help of this very inflow hydrograph. This is your inflow hydrograph. <coughs> what we need to do is we need to uh, Compute the volume of water which has flown from 1960 to 1961 in the river, which is your inflow hydrograph. Hai. For example, for that, let's hatch the volume of that very water flown in the year 1960 to 1961. For example, this area hai, that is A1. तो जो ये एरिया A1 रिप्रेजेंट करता है आपका हाइड्रोग्राफ उसका मतलब क्या हो गया एरिया A1 का मतलब क्या हो गया कि आपके रिवर में कितना वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर फ्लो हो गया है ड्यूरिंग द ड्यूरेशन 1962 टू 1960 टू 1961 और ये जो एरिया 1 है ये आपका क्या रिप्रेजेंट करेगा ये रिप्रेजेंट करेगा वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर A1 को रिप्रेजेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर volume of water flown in the river in the river from 1960 to 1961 and the area that would be cubic year cubic year so A1 would simply represent the volume of water in cubic years flown in the river from 1960 to 1961. So if we see how much is 1 
cubic here. If you want to compute the one cubic here, one cubic here is simply one cubic here is simply we need to change the units of here into seconds. For that, what we need to do is it's simply one cubic into thirty. 365 days into 24 hours 60 minutes and 60 seconds and the unit will become meter cube because one cubic is one meter per second and then you are converting this here into seconds then second and second will go your unit would be meter cube so it would be around if we uh, simplify this, it would be around 31.563 million meter cube. So this area one is the volume of water which has flown in the stream or river to, uh, from 1960 to 1961. So similarly, <coughs> if we want to plot a mass inflow curve, this is your accumulated accumulated inflow. Okay. So this is your mass inflow curve. Inflow curve. And with the help of this very inflow hydrograph. With the help of this very inflow hydrograph, you can find out the ordinate. Your uh, 19 ordinate of 1960 would be zero, and then uh, in this very mass curve, you need to find the ordinate of 1961. This very ordinate, this point, and this point represents the uh, volume of water which has flown in the river from 1960 to 1961 that would be equal to the volume of water which you have in the flow hydrograph present so this ordinate would be A1 A1 represent that from 1960 to 1961 how much volume of water flow in the stream and after that for example 1961 से लेके 1962 तक आपका जो volume of water है that is equal to the area of the hydrograph A तो अब जब हम mass inflow curve की बात करेंगे ये accumulated inflow versus time है तो आपका जो ये ordinate होगा 1962 का जो ordinate होगा mass inflow curve का ये accumulated flow है यानि cumulative flow है inflow की बात हो रही है तो it would be your A1 plus A2 simply जो आपका A2 है it represents volume of water volume of water flown from flown in the river flown in the river from 1961 to 19 62. But when we talk about mass inflow curve, mass inflow curve में आपका है accumulated inflow. That means जो 1962 का ordinate होगा, that would be representing the flow जो आपके river में होगा flow from 1962 to 1962. यानी 1960 से लेके 1962 तक जो आपके stream में flow आएगा होगा, वही ये ordinate represent करेगा. Similarly, for uh, year 1962 to 1963, for example, जो flow hydrograph है, उसका area uh, A3 है, तो A3 क्या represent करेगा? A3 would represent the volume of water which has flown in the stream from 1962 to 1963. और अगर हम इस hydrograph की help से ordinate work out करेंगे 1963 का, that would be equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3.
सिमिलरली आपका जो uh, 1964 का ऑर्डिनेट होगा दैट वुड बी फॉर एग्जांपल दिस एरिया इन द हाइड्रोग्राफ इज ए फोर मीन्स ए फोर इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर विच हैज फ्लोन फ्रॉम 1963 टू 1964 इन द स्ट्रीट तो यहां पे जब हम कमलेटू की बात करेंगे कमलेटू इनफ्लो की बात करेंगे विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम जो आपका ऑर्डिनेट होगा एट द ईयर 1964 दैट वुड बी ए वन प्लस ए टू प्लस ए थ्री प्लस ए फोर तो सिंपली इन दिस वेरी मैनर यू कैन प्लॉट एट मास इनफ्लो कर्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वेरी इनफ्लो हाइड्रोग्राफ तो अब आपको इसमें से कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स याद रखने हैं वो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स कुछ ऐसे है कि जो आपका मास इनफ्लो कर्व है इट्स ऑलवेज एन राइजिंग कर्व वन सेकेंड एट मीन ऑफ द बोर्ड आपका जो मास इनफ्लो कर्व है इट्स ऑलवेज मास इनफ्लो कर्व इज ऑलवेज एन राइजिंग कर्व राइजिंग कर्व इट मे बी इट मे बी हॉरिजोंटल but it can never fall down never fall down ab ye horizontal kaise hoga for example if we plot one more uh, mass in flow curve example this is your cumulative inflow accumulated inflow for example this is 1960 1961 1962 1963 for example we have this At 1960, we have zero inflow in the river, and up to 1961, there is some inflow in the stream. Okay, and then from 1961 to 1962, there is no inflow in the stream. So that can be it's an it's a mass flow is accumulated inflow versus time. So that means the ordinate for 1962. would be similar to the ordinate of 1961 if there is no flow between 1961 to 1962 so that way it can be a horizontal line that way it can be a horizontal line if there is no flow between 1961 and to 1962 and then if there is some flow uh, from 1962 to 1963 so that way Uh, if there is some uh, more discharge, let that ordinate be here, so it can rise out here. And if there is some less flow, then there is no flow, then it's a horizontal line. So horizontal line can represent that here when there is no flow in the stream. Okay. Now normally, your key, the mass of the curve, is that it can be something like this. Can be somehow like this, okay? So, जहाँ पे larger inflow होगा river में, जिस भी period of time में inflow larger होगा या हम कह सकते हैं discharge would be higher. उस time पे जो आपका graph है, वो rising होगा और उसमें जो आपको crest दिखाई देंगे. For example, this is the crest जो मैं double line से show कर रहा हूँ. This represents the, this crest represents the. This crest represents the 
high discharge in the flow high discharge in the river और जो आपके ये डिप्रेशन बन रहे हैं ये डिप्रेशन दे रिप्रेजेंट द लो डिस्चार्ज लो डिस्चार्ज एंड इफ देयर वुड बी एन हॉरिजोंटल लाइन इन यूर मास इनफ्लो कर दैट विल रिप्रेजेंट सिंपली द कि वहां पे उस टाइम पे कोई फ्लो नहीं था कोई डिस्चार्ज नहीं था उस ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम पे जहां पे आपकी हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन होगी सो दैट में जो आपका मास इनफ्लो कर्व है इट विल बी ऑलवेज एन राइजिंग कर्व ये हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन हो सकता है बट इट कैन नेवर फॉल डाउन ये कुछ ऐसा नहीं हो सकता है फॉल डाउन नहीं कर सकता है सो दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट पर्टेनिंग टू द मास इनफ्लो कर्व नाउ इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल गो टू डिमांड कर्व एंड मास डिमांड कर्व